Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on polynomials. In this video, we'll be looking at multiplication and division. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on polynomials. We start with the first problem. Problem 1. Given that p1 of x is equal to 6x squared plus 3x plus 7 and p2 of x is equal to x squared minus 2, find p1, p2. So to find p1, p2, we are going to multiply p1 by p2. So in our solution, we are going to apply the tabular form of multiplication. So to do that, we have our P1, which is 6x squared plus 3x plus 7, then times P2, which is x squared minus 2. So we use the constant term of P2 to multiply every term of P1. Thereafter, we use the other term to multiply every term of P1. So we start with negative 2 multiplied by 7 gives negative 14. Negative 2 multiplied by 3x gives negative 6x. Negative 2 multiplied by 6x squared gives negative 12x squared. We are done multiplying the constant term of P2 by every term of P1. Then we go ahead to multiply the other term of P2 by every term of P1. So I have x squared multiplying 7x, it gives 7x squared. So we place it under negative 12x squared. So we have plus 7x squared there. Then we now pick x squared multiplied by positive 3x. And that will give us 3x cubed. So that will be before 7x squared. Then x squared multiplied by 6x squared gives 6x raised to the power 4. So we have it before 3x cubed. Then we are going to add them. So starting from here, I have 6x4. There's nothing to add to it. There is no corresponding term in the first line or first row. So we have it 6x4. And the same way, we are bringing 3x cubed. Then here we have minus 12x squared plus positive 7x squared, which is as good as saying minus 12x squared plus 7x squared. And that will give us negative 5x squared. And here, minus 6x has nothing to be added to it. We bring it down, and in the same way, we bring minus 14. And that is the product of P1 and P2. So we go to problem two. For problem two, given that Q of X is equal to 5X3 minus 4X squared plus 6X minus 5, and R of X is equal to 2X squared minus 3X minus 2, find QR. So we are finding the product of Q of X and R of X. So to do that, we are still going to maintain the tabular form that is long multiplication. So we have QR as bringing in Q, that is 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 5, then multiply by 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. In the same way, we start with negative 2. We use negative 2 to multiply every term of Q and use negative 3 to multiply every term of Q. And lastly, we use 2x squared to multiply every term of Q. So starting with negative 2, negative 2 times negative 5 gives positive 10. Negative 2 times positive 6x gives negative 12x. So I have negative 12x there. Negative 2 times negative 4x squared gives positive 8x squared. Negative 2 times positive 5x cubed gives negative 10x cubed. So we have negative 10x cubed. So we are done with negative 2. We go to negative 3x. 
So negative 3x multiplied by negative 5 gives positive 15x. Negative 3x multiplied by positive 6x gives negative 18x squared. So we have negative 18x squared under 8x squared. And also negative 3x multiplied by negative 4x squared gives positive 12x cubed which comes under negative 10x cubed. Then negative 3x multiplied by positive 5x cubed gives negative 15x raised to the power 4. Then we are done with negative 3x. Then we go to 2x squared. So 2x squared multiplied by negative 5 gives negative 10x squared and it comes under the negative 18x squared. So we have negative 10x squared there. Then 2x squared multiplied by positive 6x is 12x cubed. So it comes under the 12x cubed here. 2x squared multiplied by negative 4x squared will give us negative 8x raised to the power 4. And it comes under negative 15x raised to the power 4. Then 2x squared multiplied by 5x3 will give 10x raised to the power 5. Then we add. So in addition, um, this 10x5 has nothing to be added to it. So we have 10x5. Negative 15x raised to the power 4 plus negative 8x raised to the power 4. And this positive and negative gives negative. So it's as good as saying negative 15x raised to the power 4 minus 8x raised to the power 4. So that will give us negative 23x raised to the power 4. This is negative 10x cubed plus 12x cubed plus 12x cubed. I can just say 12 plus 12, 24 minus 10, giving us 14. So we have plus 14x cubed. This is 8x squared plus negative 18x squared, which is going to give us negative 10x squared. And negative 10x squared plus negative 10x squared gives negative 20x squared. And here we have negative 12x plus 15x that gives plus 3x and this 10 which is a constant comes down and that is the product of q of x and r of x so we are done with problem 2 then we go to problem 3 for problem 3 given that p1 of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 and p2 of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Find p1 of x over p2 of x. So that is p1 of x divided by p2 of x. And to do that, we are going for long division. So we have our table here. And the p1 of x will be going inside. That is the dividend. While the divisor, which is p2 of x, will be outside the box here the, the method of dividing is straightforward and simple we'll only be concentrating on the first term and this first term so here we are going to concentrate on 2x squared divided by 2x 2x squared divided by 2x will give us x so we are going to have x there we now use this our quotient to multiply every term of the divisor. So I have x times 2x giving us 2x squared. x times negative 3 gives negative 3x. Then we subtract. In our subtraction, 2x squared minus 2x squared, that one is gone. Now I have 5x minus negative 3x, which is as good as saying 5x plus 3x since negative times negative gives positive and our answer there will be 8x then we are left with this we now bring down the negative 12. so here now is our new 
dividend and this our device what we see be maintained so we concentrate on 8x and 2x so 8x divided by 2x gives positive 4 so we have plus 4 there we now use this 4 to multiply every term in the divisor so 4 times 2x gives 8x 4 times negative 3 gives negative 12 we are going to subtract so subtracting here we have it as 0 so we are done dividing so we can see now that we have divided p1 by p2 to give us x plus 4 and the remainder is 0 which means 2x minus 3 is a factor of 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. So we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 now to be equal to the 2x minus 3 multiplied by what we got here then plus 0. This is the best way to express this and uh, here this is the dividend we have been saying that while 2x minus 3 which is p2 of x is the divisor then x plus 4 that we got after dividing p1 of x by p2 of x is the quotient and this 0 is the remainder so the 0 is the remainder if the remainder is 5 it will still be written as plus 5 that is to say, if we expand this and add the zero, we are still going to have 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. That's the solution of problem 3. We then go to problem 4. For problem 4, divide the polynomial p1 of x equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 10x plus 11 by p2 of x equal to x plus 3. So we still go by long division. This is long algebraic division. So we have the box and we have P1 of X inside where the P2 of X outside. Now to carry out the division, we concentrate on the first term here, which is X3. We divide it by X and that will give us X squared. We now use this X squared to multiply every term of the divisor x squared multiplied by x gives x raised to power 3 x squared multiplied by 3 we give us plus 3 x squared so we now subtract x cubed minus x cubed gives 0 so that one is gone minus x squared minus positive 3x squared gives negative 4x squared then we now bring down the minus 10x then here again we concentrate on minus 4x squared so here we are going to say minus 4x squared divided by x and that gives minus 4x minus 4x then multiply by every term of the divisor so minus 4x multiplied by x gives negative 4x squared negative 4x multiplied by 3 gives negative 12x then we then subtract so this one also will be gone minus 10x minus negative 12x is as good as saying minus 10x plus 12x since minus times minus gives positive so minus 10x plus 12x gives 2x then we now bring down the positive 11 here again we concentrate on this 2x 2x divided by x gives 2 so we have our plus 2 there then we now use plus 2 to multiply every term here 2 times x gives 2x 2 times 3 gives 6 so i have plus 6 we then subtract 2x minus 2x that term is gone 11 minus 6 gives 5 so we are done dividing p1 
P1 by P2. So we are done with problem 4. We go to problem 5. For problem 5, find the quotient and the remainder when x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x minus 9 is divided by x minus 5. So still going by long division, we have a x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x minus 9 dividing by x minus 5. We have x minus 5 outside the box here. So x3 divided by x gives x squared. x squared times x gives x3. x squared times negative 5 gives negative 5x squared. Then we subtract. This term is gone. 2x squared minus negative 5x squared gives 7x squared. We bring down the minus 8x. So we said 7x squared divided by x will give us plus 7x. 7x now times x gives 7x squared. 7x times negative 5 gives negative 35x. We then subtract again. 7x squared is gone with 7x squared. Negative 8x minus negative 35x is as good as saying negative 8x plus 35x. Since negative times negative gives positive and that will give us 27x. We now bring down the 9. 27x divided by x gives 27. Then we now use the 27 to multiply every term of the divisor. 27 times x gives 27x. 27 times negative 5 gives negative 135. We subtract 27x minus 27x. That is gone. Now minus 9 minus negative 135. That will give us negative 9 plus 135 which gives 126. We are done dividing. So we can state that Q of X, which is the quotient, is X squared plus 7X plus 27. And the remainder, which is R of X, is 126. So we are done with problem 5. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on polynomials. Until we come your way again, goodbye.